when I come to the end of this little bit, I'll get, you know, you talk about a management book. I've got a management book, and it's got my little ten tips on management. There you are. That's, that's it. So it's not going to run to a book, is it? Um, <laughs> but, but we'll talk about it at the end. We do have publishers in the room, so they, you'll be surprised what I think we might be able to turn that short, into if you see. be a short book and a short conversation. Um, We've also got, by the way, uh, BBC and BBC production companies as well. And uh, Martha Lane Fox said that you should have been on TV. Is that something you want to do in the future? So we're going off subject, but it's you have to be careful when somebody tries to sell you something like that. What is the reason you might be doing it for? And if it's anything, you know, most people would say when they said you want to be on TV, oh yes, please. But actually, it's probably driven by ego. Mm. Well, that's the wrong reason. Yeah. You know, then I, without being falsely modest, I thought if I write a book, who'd want to buy it? So, you know, it, it, you don't, don't do it because mm. it's sexy to do. It's a bit like, you know, it's, follow your own instincts, follow your yeah. own thoughts, follow your own beliefs, you know? Yeah. Whilst, if, if it's okay with you, can we just have a quick pro se of those ten, because I know I'll probably forget. So, j j just the really top hear this, this is really dull, right? All I do is sometimes when I'm just talking to people about, uh, this is my little he headlines, and this is not in order of go, but it served me pretty well. Enjoy work, because you're going to do it for a long time. You know, as I said earlier, you know, most of us are going to have 35 years at work. If you're not enjoying it, sit yourself down at the weekend and say, I am not enjoying this. Now, that does not mean you can't have a bad time at work from time to time because you're having a shitty time with your boss or because you're under a particular amount of pressure or because the business isn't performing or you're not quite sure how you're going to get this contract landed. That's different. That's what I call day-to-day -day sort of stuff. I'm talking about if you're fundamentally not happy with your thing, move on because you've got to you know, be, enjoy it. Second thing is be flexible. My point earlier about going through a door when somebody opens it. I've always gone through doors when somebody opens them for me. Unless I've looked through the other side and seen a man trap. Probably good advice if you see a man trap, don't go through. But, you know, try it. What's the worst thing that can happen? You didn't like it. Go somewhere else. Take a risk. If you don't take a risk, there's no reward. So that goes back to that point about overanalysis, paralysis. At the end of the day, if you want to have a no-risk life, trust me, you shouldn't be in business. Right? Yeah. But there's no such thing as a no-risk life. Guts versus brains. We just had this conversation, yeah. right? Brains are important, but guts are very important, so don't forget that. Back yourself. You know, nobody else is going to back you. Very few of us <coughs> are going to find somebody who picks us up in life and says, Stuart Rose is going to be a genius and I'm going to back him. That's rubbish. You read that in books. It's not true. Right? So you just have to back yourself. The speed and certainty rule, the 90% rule, I told you about the duck. Keep it simple. That is the one about the bigger the business, the more need there is to keep it simple. You know, business is a very simple thing. You've only got effectively three lines, haven't you? You've got a revenue line, you've got a cost line, and you've got a margin. Can't change anything else. So just remember that. that we, we, we wrap it all up in books. We wrap it all up in, 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 in sort of theses about this and the management tones. At the end of the day, you're in business, right? If you're not earning any revenue, you can't make any margin, and you certainly won't make a profit. Yeah? Stop doing it. Right? Believe in yourself, as I said, and stick to your guns, but be aware of two things. Be aware of the law of unintended mm. consequences because, you know, I always say to people that 50% of your life is not what you plan. It's what some other bugger does, right? So I could have got up this morning and said I'm going to go and talk to Anthony, but I could have been run over by a bus driver. It's what he did to me, right? So, you know, you can never have plans. That's why you have to be flexible. No plan there should be no such thing as a plan that can't survive some amendment. It has to be that. Um, expect the unexpected. Very important. Don't be afraid of changing your mind. You know, if you, if you haven't been wrong, frankly, you're not trying hard enough. I had a boss years and years and years ago who said to me, Stuart, if you don't make a mistake once, you're not doing your job properly. He said, my advice to you, this was the, dead, this was the dangerous bit, he said, my advice to you is don't make the same mistake twice, which is pretty good advice. Thank God I didn't. Um, um, Confidence versus arrogance, I've touched on that one. Um, and then there's the, the whole thing, which is that awful <coughs> phrase, which is now coming into the fore. Uh, and as I said, these aren't in order. Corporate social responsibility. You know, people start yawning when you mention that. But it, it's not about that. It is about sustainability. And we live in a world today where if you don't take any notes of sustainability, you're lost. And at the end of the day, we live in a world where we're using resources twice as fast as they're being created. We live in a world where there's going to be twice as many people living as there are now. We live in a world where there's going to be 30% more food needed, 30% more energy needed, and 30% more water needed by 2030. 2030, guys, right? That's only 17 years away. And if you're a child born of parents today, in Western society, you are probably going to live 100 years. So, you know, for 70 years, those people are going to, well, for 83 years, those people are going to be short of water. 
So be, be aware of that. Um, teamwork, you can't do it on your own. Very important. Leadership is lonely. Remember what I said to you. Everybody thinks it's being fun being a chief executive. Of course it's fun. Of course there are plus size. Of course you get paid reasonably well. But it is very lonely. And the reason I mention it is because you should build around you a team of people that you love and trust outside the business preferably, in fact I would say exclusively outside the business, that you can take for a beer and say, look, am I being a complete dickhead? <coughs> and get the right answer. Not, no, Stuart, you know, the emperor's got his clothes on. Because people always tell you all the time, yes, Stuart, you're absolutely right. Until you fell over. So you've got them there, not necessarily family, because the trouble with family is they love you, so they'll lie to you as well, right? <laughs> you, you've got to have people out there say, Stuart, I think you're being a complete... You know, you're completely loopy about this. If I were you, I wouldn't do it. And trust what they say to you. Um, take time out. It's a holiday thing I mentioned earlier. I used to have a boss who's still alive. Um, I don't know why I mentioned that, but he is. Um, <laughs> he, maybe that's a good re Maybe the reason he's still alive is because of the advice he gave me, um, which is about keeping KF time, keep free time. And he used to say to me, Stuart, I advise you, I'm, frank I'm telling you, that in your diary once a week, you should try and put in KF time, which is keep free time, which is if you don't come to work and you're going to sit in a park bench or you're going to sit in a high park and you think about life for a couple of hours, I'm not going to think you're slacking. Mm -hmm. Now, clearly, we're all under huge pressure, and I've never taken that advice all the time, and I've often thought, silly ass, how did he manage to do that? But I have and have had, and a lot of people I know do have, their best ideas and solutions to problems when they're not really straining at the problem. They're sitting there a bit more relaxed and suddenly it comes in left field or out right field and something I'm not going to do because your brain relaxes. When your brain relaxes, it's much more productive. So just think about it, keep free. Um, the importance of money. What I mean by the importance of money, and we've touched on this one as well, is the unimportance of money. Don't chase the money. If you're any good, the money will chase you. It's not going to be any of that. That's the most important thing about it is. Uh, and the last one is having fun, which we've talked about. So if you then boil it down to a little bit of sort of, you know, that's it, fellas, the book's written. Um, you know, what do you need in life? Now, you may say, well, it's all right for you because you've been reasonably successful, you know, da de blah de blah de blah But the reality, the reality of the fact is there's not many benefits about getting older. One is you become a little bit more thoughtful about life. And I've tried to give this advice to my son and say, look, get your work-life balance right. What do you need in life? And this is, again, a little list. It's not in order. You need good food. It's my list. Good wine. Clean sheets. Hot water. A roof over your head. Your health. And if you're lucky, someone to love you. That's it. You don't need two cars. You don't need three houses. You don't need a bigger job than the bloke next door. You just need to actually be enjoying what you're on this planet for. Now, you may say, well, that's fine for you, but trust me, it's not a bad thing to sit back on a glass of whiskey or wine or water or whatever you drink at the end of the week and think about <coughs> sometimes.